Yo, what's going on guys? Of course, we are back in DaVinci Resolve Studio and today we're going to be making this. Some pretty sick visuals, uh, sort of a mixed media slash masking effect going on here. Um, and it's relatively simple to do, so let's get straight into it. Um, I've got my clip here of um, Little Yachty on a Fred Again uh, music video. I'm just going to enlarge this and make it full screen. I'm just going to get him nice and centered. I'm then going to come to the color panel. I'm going to head over to our magic mask. I'm also going to add alpha output and just connect the blue square to the uh, blue circle. Once we've done that, I'm going to make our selection. Just click on better. And I'm going to run that through like so. Once you're here, you can now uh, sort of resize the visual. I'm going to make him nice and big, put him center. Just play that through and see how that looks. Maybe move him to the left a bit more. Now I'm just going to drag um, that clip up to the uh, V2. And I'm going to come to solid color. As you can see now, we've got a really cool looking clip here. Now what you want to do is head over to pexels.com and find loads of images. And for the interest of time, I've already done this, but put them all together and essentially make a stop motion sequence of loads of different images. I've used windows here as sort of a, my main theme, um, but you can kind of use anything. Um, you play it together and I've looped them several times. So it's actually only about 10 different images looped three or four times. Once you've done that, you want to compound those. You want to bring those over above your mask, which is the little Yachty clip. And whenever you're masking and using composite modes, alpha and foreground, the foreground is always the image you want within the mask. So we'll change the little Yachty clip and we'll change that to alpha. We'll change the, um, the window clips into foreground. And this is what you get. Now I'm just going to extend this, open in timeline, just repeat one more time. And then I'm going to come back just to extend the clip. Once you've done this, you want to get some scribble assets. You can't see these because they're currently black, but I'm going to compound them all. And I place them behind each other. So it makes some sort of small animation. And now uh, you can see now this is really slow. I want to speed this up really quickly. That looks about the right sort of uh, length. I'm going to drag that over. I'm actually going to slow this down even further. Just adjust it till we can sort of match up the lengths. So this looks really cool. And now you could stop there and you'd already have a really cool um, looking image. But let's go a little bit further. I'm going to add an adjustment clip. And in the adjustment clip, you want to come to the color panel. You want to type in tilt, shift blur. We're just going to blur the edges and then we're going to go film grain. I'm going to come to 35, 400T, opacity all the way up, and let's really push the strength. Now, you might not be able to see this on my screen, but you'll see it on yours. You're going to get some nice embedded grain that's sort of working its way into the image. Um, and it looks better this way, um, rather than just sitting over the top, it kind of blends itself in. You then want to do Alt-S to create a new node, increase the contrast a bit, just to start to get even more of that embeddedness coming through. Let me zoom in here you can really start to see it come to life. Now we can add a film look creator. Um, clean slate is what you want to select. We can start to add some halation, enable halation. Just sort of get a real subtle halation going on here. Um, also you want to add some gate weave up the amount, up the rate. 
um, and some overall grain. So the grain is separate from the other grain. This one sits in the reds, whereas the other grain is more embedded into our into our silhouette. Now let's go back. Let's have a quick look. And this looks incredible. And it's really as simple as that. It's a real simple tutorial. What's really good about this, you can change the background. Let's maybe go back and just slightly adjust the blur. Let's make it less obvious. So a bit more subtle. And that's pretty much it. So head over to bluetooth.com if you want to purchase any of our plugins. If not, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.